coming to the stage is a very dear friend of mine from New York City. Y'all put your hands together for Julio Gattarotti! One more time for Nico, guys. Let him hear it. Let him hear it. You know, as com comedians travel a lot, right? So we see a lot of crazy stuff. But I saw something on a plane the other day that I couldn't believe was on the, was on a plane. It's just a guy with a falcon, <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't yeah, it wasn't in a cage, just on his arm. And I was like, how is that allowed on a plane? You can just bring a falcon on a plane. I can't bring four ounces of water on a plane. <laughs> but I can bring a falcon, birds of prey, no problem. That's crazy. I started thinking about it, I'm like, the idea of a falcon having to fly in a plane. <laughs> Flight was only an hour. The falcon could easily fly there on its own. I was convinced that right before we actually got on the plane, the guy was just gonna be like, all right, dude, see you there. <laughs> How is this allowed? <laughs> when I saw the Falcon, I was making a video. I made sure I got the Falcon in there with a cameo. I was editing that video for like two or three months, and I was just looking at myself every day, and I just started hating the way that I look. I, I, specifically, I was like a little heavier too in the video. I was just, my body, was just like not that down. <laughs> Like, I, I don't gain weight in a masculine way. Like, when I gain weight, it immediately just starts to be like... <laughs> I start to get all curvy. <laughs> I feel like as a guy, you don't want your descriptive word to be voluptuous. <laughs> oh, yeah, geez, thick, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, when... It's amazing, like, you know, if you can see yourself on a video, like, that's a great way to know that you gained weight. But otherwise, like, how do you find out? Like, typically, it'll just be like, your rudest friend will tell you. It's just a crazy thing to be doing. I'll never forget the last time this happened to me. I went to visit one of my friends, and the person who told me I'd gained weight was the guy who mows his lawn. Who's like, very nice guy, but like, doesn't speak English at all. But still, he was able to convey to me that he thought I'd gained weight, which I'll never forget. Because I show up, I'm like, hey, what's up? He goes, Bobby. And I was in denial. I was like, oh, maybe he just thinks I look strong or something. <laughs> I don't know how one could ever think that this means strong. So I just said, oh, thank you, Bobby. <laughs> and he made sure to clarify. He goes, no, Bobby. <laughs> and to make sure there was no mistake in my brain, he just starts going. <laughs> Dude, you're a dick. Isn't that insane? Like, I don't know. I can't imagine ever saying some shit like that to somebody's face. I would at least wait for them to leave the room. <laughs> then I'd be like, man, he looks terrible. <laughs> I say bro a lot when I talk, and then sometimes I get self-conscious that I'm gonna get grouped in with a group of people that I feel like I shouldn't be associated with. You know, rambunctious young white men. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh. so to the point where when I see a group of bros, I actually get disgusted. I'm like, look at these fucking bros. It can like ruin my mood. Like I went to dinner, it was like a sushi restaurant I was really looking forward to going to eat at. It was fancy, right? I sit down. They see me next to these bros. And I'm looking over there, I'm like, look at these fucking bros. <laughs> but they're not even gonna appreciate this meal. They're gonna be ordering shit that isn't even on the menu. Oh, can we get some soggy bombs? <laughs> the dads are probably paying. I'm too fuck this. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna monitor them to make sure that they're being well behaved. I don't know what power I have, just to prove myself right. And as it turns out, these bros were wonderful gentlemen. <laughs> they were great guys. I swear, like, they were mild-mannered and polite, compassionate with the waste staff. They were engaging in thought-provoking conversation <laughs> while maintaining their inside voices the entire time. I was like, these bros were raised right. These bros are pros. Seriously, it was as if these bros had achieved the next level of brodom. Which I didn't even know was possible. You guys are probably thinking, well, perhaps they weren't bros at all. But they were, because they were still doing all the shit that bros do, but just in a much more classy and sophisticated manner. 
I'll give you the best example. Okay, a plate of sushi comes over. One of the bros scoops up a piece, perfect chopstick work. <laughs> <laughs> and then he takes a bite, and he just started really earnestly enjoying it. And then he said the most bro thing you could ever say, but in a much more classy and refined way. So I'll never forget it. He's like, fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> dude, he said some sake bombs over there on me, dude. These bros are awesome. Guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. That was super fun.